guys what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video I'm going to be doing a new video to my channel I'm going to be doing a will I buy it series so basically what it is is I'm just talking about new makeup releases my opinion on them what I think of them whether or not I'm going to buy them you guys are always sending me messages asking me like hey are you gonna buy this hey what do you think of this will you do a tutorial of this are you gonna buy this so this series is gonna answer those questions for you guys so I actually think this is going to be a great addition to my series I'm not sure what to call it there's so many like there's neater next purchase or pass just uh, I don't, I can't think of any, just a ton. So if you have a creative one that I can name it, let me know down below. I think I'm going to pass it shop or drop, meaning like I'm either going to shop for it or I'm just going to drop it from my list. So yeah, I think shop or drop, but, or maybe I'll leave it out while I buy it. I don't know. I'm so uncreative. So if you guys want to get creative, you can let me know what you think, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyways, so I'm going to go to trend mood right now, which by the way, if you do not follow trend mood on Instagram you need to. You also need to follow me on Instagram too. But. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the Too Faced Pretty Rich eyeshadow palette. It says it will be available end of November. I don't know if the picture I'm looking at just doesn't tell me the date, but it looks gorgeous if you've seen the swatches of them. <gasps> I didn't want to get it. I've just been trying not to fall for all of these Too Faced releases, but honestly, I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to buy it, but I definitely am eyeing it. I have my eye on this, so this definitely thumbs up shop. I really like it. I love all the different textures, and I'm such a sucker for glittered eyeshadows, shimmery eyeshadows, and all of these palettes nowadays, they are putting glitter finishes in their palettes or super shimmery finishes and I am here for it. I am such a glitter shimmer girl. So I hate to admit it, but I definitely think I'm going to purchase this one potentially. Okay, so next, this one is actually available now, but I do want to talk about it because it did look super stunning to me. It is the Jouer Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette. Again, those really foiled shimmery shadows I really, really do enjoy. I have one other Jouer palette and I do like it. I don't think Jouer gets too much hype or anything, but I mean, this palette looks absolutely stunning. So I don't know if I'm going to buy it or not. It's available right now at Sephora. They're extending their VIB sales, so maybe I'll pick it up and I'll just return it if I don't like it. But so far, um, I think I'm going to shop it. So the Jeffree Star Alien Collection. I was so excited to see what his holiday collection was going to look like because he has some palettes that are absolutely beautiful. I love the Androgyny palette, uh, the Blood Sugar palette, and whatever, I have the Thirsty palette, that's what it's called. Love those, so I was so excited to what he was going to see for the holidays because, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my number of reviews have definitely slowed down because I've picked up everything and I was like, alright, maybe I'll purchase this and do a review on that. And the colors are, I'm going to drop this from my shopping list. <laughs> because I just, the colors, they don't speak to me. They're not really colors I think I'm going to use. There's just a lot of weird colors. It's very cool, gray, neon. I mean, I think it's awesome that he comes out with palettes that are non-traditional, non-neutral colors because we do need to step away from that because we're purchasing the same colors over and over and over again. I am so guilty of this, but I'm just not feeling that palette, so I'm going to drop that one. Also in the collection, he has liquid lipsticks and things like that, but again, I'm just not even going to waste any money on that. The Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. Now, her very first palette that she came out with, I absolutely loved. I don't think Lemonade was as much of a success, but that first palette, the Latte Palette, I think it was called, I love that palette. I think it was great neutrals. That palette was absolutely spectacular, so that's why I'm kind of drawn to this palette, but I think I'm going to pass because all of a sudden, all these palettes now, we're switching from warms to these purpley mauve palettes, and I'm here for it because you guys know I love purples and mauves, but I need to chill out. So I'm probably not going to purchase this or drop, but 
Everything that I say in these types of videos, they're never set in stone. Some of you guys might change my mind, some reviews might change my mind, or if I see in person, a lot of times I change my mind. So nothing is set in stone, but as of right now, I'm not in any rush to pick up this palette. All right, so next we have the James Charles collaboration with Morphe. I don't talk too much about Morphe on my channel, but I do use their products and I do like quite a few of them. So I'm not in any hurry to pick up this palette. I think it's one of those palettes where once it comes to Ulta I will probably pick it up especially you know if I want to use my points or something so I definitely see myself buying this in the future but I'm in no rush to pick it up it's just I mean it's a really colorful palette which is super awesome and so eventually I would like to pick it up but again I'm not in a rush I do really like his brush set though it's like over $200 <laughs> but I'm very interested in it I really do like Morphe brushes a lot of the brushes that you see me using they're actually from Morphe they are really good you can get some really bad ones too but I just like how he has so many and how he puts multiples of the same brush in one set because that is so true I have duplicates of so many brushes that I love so I just really like how big that tub thing is too I probably won't pick up the brush set but I am eyeing it for sure all right I actually got asked about this palette a couple of times this is the Tardis Pro Remix I actually don't think I own a single Tarte eyeshadow palette. Their Tarte Lip palettes have were on my wish list forever and I just never got around to picking them up because they weren't like unique, you know? But yeah, I just have never used Tarte eyeshadows before. Their old Tardis palette, I remember walking around the store with it in hand last year or two years ago. I don't remember exactly when, but when it first came out, I was walking around the store with it and I was literally in line and at the very last second I went, no, I don't need this and I put it up. So what I like about this palette is it's different. I feel like brands are trying to be a little bit more different, a little bit more colorful. Now that people are like getting more comfortable and creative with makeup, the colors though, they don't really interest me. Like they're different, but this palette is just kind of boring to me. You have a few blues and then it just looks like a bunch of metallic shades of colors that I'd never use. If you're gonna have a colorful palette, I need multiple colors in multiple finishes, not just every single color in a shimmer finish. It just makes it very difficult to create a look with, so I'm not really that interested in this palette, so it's gonna definitely be dropped. The Bretman Rock and ColourPop collaboration. If you guys don't know, I actually really, really love ColourPop. I talk a lot about luxury brands, but I like ColourPop and I like Morphe a lot too. I'm going to drop this because I'm just, it's a warm palette and then a blue palette. I mean, first of all, who needs another warm palette? So that's definitely out the door. And then blues, I just don't feel the need to purchase a whole single blue palette. That being said, ColourPop is inexpensive and I do like Bretman and Rock. But I just, it's one of those things where I might add it to my cart after I already purchased some ColourPop stuff, but I'm definitely not going out of my way to purchase anything in this collection. It just doesn't really interest me, if I'm being honest. All right, Lily Lashes. They came out with $11.99 dollar lashes, and I freaking love Lily Lashes. They have one of my favorite lash styles ever, Con, and then I always do Miami for my really crazy looks for my Instagram. Um, and there's just a lot of other lashes that I do love for them, but they're like $30 so I'm interested to see what these lashes are going to turn out like so I did actually order three pairs um, I will surely talk about them later in my videos if you would like to hear but yes um, they were recommended to me and I bit the bullet and I just did it because I love lashes even though I have way too many okay so NARS is coming out with a bunch of new stuff so the first one is the Skin Deep Palette. This looks like that bronze palette that I just reviewed from NARS. I can't even remember what that's called right now. It's slipping my mind. But it's strange because in this picture, hold on. This looks a lot more like bronzy, like the palette I have. And then this picture, it looks a lot more pink. So I'd be more interested in the pink one, but I think they're the same palette. The lighting's just weird, but I don't know. I, I think that's a palette that I would have to see in person before I make a decision. I love NARS. I think their quality is so beautiful. So I actually am very interested in this palette though. I don't know. I'm like unsure. I, I feel like it's something I need to look into more and see more. So I don't want to say I'm dropping it. 
but I'm also not like sure I'm gonna buy it. NARS is also coming out with this Ignited palette. I'm getting it, so that's in the shop section for sure. So I actually might pick up that Skin Deep palette if it's available at the same time of the Ignited. I might just purchase both, but this will be available t November 28th on Sephora, and this looks beautiful. This looks like it has some really gorgeous finishes, but doesn't it seem like NARS is coming out with a lot of stuff lately? They used to never be like that. I mean, I'm not complaining, so... <sighs> Let me know if you would like to see a review on this or I was thinking about doing a comparison video between this and their other palettes because this does kind of have look a little bit similar. I don't know, it's definitely something I'd have to see in person, but I definitely think I'm gonna get that palette. Okay, so now we have the MAC and Patrick Star collection. Um, I think he's coming out with the powder, the Patrick powder in this collection. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, the Patrick Setting Powder. Definitely picking that up because I missed out on that. Uh, the rest of the stuff, I actually haven't watched his reveal video, so I'm gonna go with no, just because I've never purchased anything from his collaborations. So I am think I'm gonna drop that, except for the Patrick Powder. Um, it's probably something like, if I go in stores and I see his collection, I will definitely swatch through and I might pick something up, but as of now, I'm not really interested in going out of my way to purchase anything from that collection. Oh, let's talk about this colorful collection from ColourPop. The only thing I'm interested in is the glitters, just because I have a thing for glitters, and I think these are pretty cheap, right? They're $6? Oh, they're body glitters. I don't want body glitters. Never mind, so I think I'm not gonna buy anything from this collection. Alright, moving on. That's a drop. Oh, okay, so let's talk the Kylie Holiday collection. I love Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I do have a lot of stuff from them. I don't purchase from her quite often as often anymore just because of all her re releases and I mean the quality isn't super amazing but the packaging always gets me and of course the packaging of this got me it's baby you can't say she doesn't do a good job with her packaging and I feel like she kind of went back to her old Christmas packaging from two years ago that I love and that it's that ornament style like the lipsticks come with in little ornament packaging and I am such a sucker for that I literally kept the packaging from two years ago from her holiday collection because of I, I <laughs> that's the only reason I want to purchase it the palette it looks really pretty, but it doesn't look like something I need. I didn't get a chance to pick up the Jordan palette, and I really want to. So I think I'd pick that up first before this. But this palette looks really pretty, but I don't think I need it. Um, the lipsticks are metallic lipsticks, which is... No. I... No. Um, not really into that. I always like to pick up the little mini kits, but I have so many. I think I'm going to pass on that as well and the colors don't really interest me to be honest so basically I mean there's like blushes and other things but basically I think I'm going to pass on this drop it from my shopping list everything I say is not set in stone because I'm having a hard time saying no to this all right just kind of looking through I think I think that's everything I want to talk about. If you have any questions about any other releases, feel free to comment down below. I would love to answer you. Let me know what you're interested in picking up for the new releases. I think the good releases have definitely slowed down. There was this huge influx like a month or so ago of all these amazing products hence i did like 20 review videos in a row but that slowed down i need to save my money to buy presents for other people but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think of this style video i will see you guys in the next video so remember to subscribe comment down below like this video and yeah see you guys in the next video bye